What's up? Welcome back to Deus Ex. Uh, this time, oh boy, we are back on this boss fight, and I gotta say, it is it's not really, not really a good time. Actually, one second. Okay, that should be good. Um, so we have to do this part again. I'm not sure exactly how well this will go. <laughs> Can only assume it's not gonna go too well, but sprint right up here. I'm also playing without headphones, so I'm a little bit at a disadvantage of being able to hear from uh, you know, if, I, if there are enemies popping out, which I don't know if there are, so we're just going to run to this guy, and sit here, oh, yep, there they are, it's the shing shing shots. Do that. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, bad, bad, bad. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Okay. Let's just, uh, sit here and get some equipment out of these guys. Ooh, plasma capsules. Kind of useless to me. I think if I die, I'm not going to stop recording. I'm probably... Holy fuck. Alright, that one's dead. Good. Reroute. Oh, I have like no ammo left. All right. Um, let's try and hack this guy. I don't think I'll be able to do it, but uh, I could just use nukes all over the place, just out the butt. All right. I think. Cool. What'd that do? Inactive. Alright, I guess that works. I don't quite know what that did. Sure. Well, you don't see me. Yeah, you don't see me. Oh, okay. Oh, pff. Stupid. Fucking just. Oh boy. Alright. Bad news bears. Bad news bears. What we have going on here? Fuck you. Okay. Oh shit! They can still, they can still see me. Oh. Christ. All right. Well, that's a bad way to start this. I gotta say, I I hate everything about this right now. I wonder if I can even destroy those. Like, in, in all honesty. Let's, let's run up here. And get it? Get it? There you go. Okay, well there's that guy, so... Wow, that did like one shot. That was fucking easy. Damn. Alright, let's try the next one. Oh god, my fingers. My fingers scared me. Alright, alright, alright. Now, now we gotta. We gotta go. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Oh boy, this is. Not working out. Okay. Alright, actually, you know what? One second. Alright, we, uh. We are back. So, uh oh, uh oh, there we go, oh my god, more people, there we go, I think that's all the guys, oh. alrighty then, Pods are yes, they are. Security measures disabled. Power search detected. Electrical charge above normal levels. All right, I think at this point. For discharge sequence. Warning. Electrical charge subcritical and rising. Electric discharge sequence Oops. initialized. It's happening. We're gonna try and hack this guy real quick. No. It is. You don't know the results. 
resources they have at their disposal, Jensen. Despite your special genetics, you have been in over your head the whole time. Access grant. Great. Initiate dissipation protocol. Oh, there I guess that's no how you do that. There is oh shit! Electrical charge subcritical and rising. Halfway to discharge sequence. All right. Well, we're gonna get rid of this robot real quick. Oh my god, this looks awful. You know, now that I think about it. Uh, tap. There it is. Let's get these EMP grenades up. I don't have any. Oh right. Hmm. Oh! Oh no 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 no! Fuck, that's bad. Alright, this robot needs to F off. For real. I, I don't know where it is though. Uh, ooh, that's not good. If it knows where I am, I'm so boned. Can I, like, not get rid of this robot or something? What the hell? Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, good, okay. Oh man. So what exactly do we do? I mean, I could try and just start... Oh, another robot! Alright, let's see if I can... Alright, good. I think I just have to kill her. I think, I don't... I don't know if that's actually the case. I mean, I, I sank it a ton of shots into her. Oh! Oh! Was that it? No! I can't! I can't take <laughs> Oh. I did it? That? Ha! Huh. Oh! Okay! Um... Okay! I'm, I'm kind of surprised it was that easy. I, there you go, that's fully upgraded now. I can finally do that. Can I search you? I can't search you. What in the world is this? Hello, Adam. Welcome to the Edge. It is not the end of the world, but you can see it from here. Eliza? What are you doing here? It is my job to monitor and report on the news, Adam. Before Darrow smothered everything with his signal, the whole world was tuned into this place. Hey! Including me. The broadcast. I have to stop it. I know. Please, come closer. Do you know where we are, Adam? We are at the fulcrum point, when society lies in the balance. Hugh Darrow hoped to tip the scales one way, by telling the world everything you already know. About the biochip, the Illuminati, everything. He believed knowing the <clears throat> truth would convince mankind to abandon research into human enhancement technologies forever. It would certainly give them reason to fear it. Indeed. Darrow's confession is ready to send. If you want, I can wideband it across all media as soon as you shut down the signal. Everything you worked so hard to uncover will be exposed. But only if you deactivate the broadcast using this control. Alternatively, Darrow's message can be adjusted to erase all mention of the power group known as the Illuminati. 
I can report that lack of proper regulation allowed vast quantities of neuropazine to become contaminated prior to reaching the market. Taggart's preference. You think the world will buy a made-up story about neuropazine poisoning? You might be surprised by what people believe. I can convince them. And having experienced the negative effects of corporate negligence firsthand, a majority of people might force the world to place harsh restrictions on all human enhancement research. But only if you disengage the signal and activate the video edit function from here. Of course, there is another option. This passage leads to Panchea's pressure regulation controls. Destroy them and the installation will cave in on itself, overwhelmed by the weight of the ocean pressing against it. Everyone inside the structure will die. That's a solution? No one will be left to tell the world what happened, Adam. Nobody will be able to spin the story. Including me. The choice is yours. Do you believe you have the wisdom to choose an appropriate future for mankind? Or do you trust mankind to find the answers on its own? We have a Mass Effect 3 ending action. So we got that action going right now. We have... Which one's this? Send the message of Hugh Darrow. Uh, send Taggart's message. And then we can go destroy ourselves. And no one will know. I... Uh, fuck, I don't know what I want to do for this. I mean, this one... I think sounds like the best. Honestly. People would need to know yada, yada, all that. I actually kind of forget which one it is. Let's see. Uh, do you decide which truth broadcast? Should I give Dare's truth? Alright, well... I think this one is... Uh, basically... Oh, fuck. You have to... It'll eliminate... I, I, I'm tired. I can't talk right now. It's 11 o'clock at night. This one's the, uh... Edit it, spin it so that... It gets, you know... Uh... A cool... Kind of half-truth. This one's the full truth, and then this one is no one ever knows. I kind of want to go with the full truth, but goddamn. The fact that now we have to, we get to choose our ending is kind of, I don't know, weird, but you know, let's do this one. If you do this, the unadulterated truth in Darrow's confession may well convince mankind to cast all hmm. science and technology aside to ensure that future generations grow up free and whole. Are you sure this is your choice? No, actually, it's not my choice. I Let me think about it. I, I think that science absolutely should be. Well, I mean, there there are two sides to this. You know, science. On the one hand, science should absolutely be a part of our life. I mean, you can't advance civilization without science. There's, I mean, obviously, that's kind of a really broad statement, but it's true. You kind of have to advance society in some way and usually it's through science and just getting rid of it it's like well then what you know we will never continue researching stuff it'll be really bland and lifeless then there's this which will continue science to an extent kind of restrict it but then people you know the answers that people want to know won't be found out because you might not have the clearance you might not be able to do it because the government's like well fuck you you aren't allowed to do it and then there's this one, which, I mean, we have to go through here for that, I believe. Uh, that's, that one, you know, just, no one ever has to know about this. Don't worry. You know, no one will find out about this entire incident. We got your back, bro. Which, now on the other hand, compared to, you know, on, so, I personally think I'm going to go against Darrow, or whatever the dude's name, this one, Harrow. Yes, yeah, Darrow, okay. I, I would go with the Taggart one, because, I, I mean, there probably should be some restrictions, because at some point, I think science will, science will get to the point, and this is, I agree with this statement, it's not my personal opinion, science will get to the point where we'll kill ourselves because of science, which is a theory that, you know, there's so many civilizations out there that have just destroyed themselves because they're so advanced that anyone can get their hands on materials and whatnot, to just kill everyone and just like some dude in his basement accidentally sets off a nuke that he's building you know that kind of thing so i'm gonna go with this ending right here but first i have been doing something that i've been kind of hoarding for bosses that i've 
keep on forgetting about, and that is a uh, yield and typhoon. So let's let's give that a go and see how that looks. Wow. Cool slowdown, guy. All right. Well, there's that's what that looks like. So. If you do this. First hand experience with corporate negligence on such a grand scale may convince mankind to enact harsh restrictions on human enhancement research. Are you sure this is your choice? Let's end this. So be it then. Freedom. To those who don't have it, it's more valuable than gold. But where should it start and end? We humans often think we have the right to expand, absorb, convert, or possess anything we need to reach our dreams. But time and time again, hasn't this led to conflicts with others who essentially believe the same thing? Looking back on the challenges I faced, <clears throat> at the way I often resolve them, I realize morality can become our saving grace. Most of the time, didn't I try to keep my values in mind, knowing how my actions would affect others? More often than not, I resisted the urge to abuse power and resources simply to reach my goals more swiftly. I managed to hang on to my humanity. But the temptation to ignore it was always there. It's that temptation that so worries Taggart. He's not afraid of freedom. He's afraid of the chaos that erupts when individuals have nothing but morality to constrain them. He wants us to regulate enhancement technologies because he fears all that power, without limits, without guardrails to keep us from abusing it. Absolute freedom is no better than chaos. Society needs laws and regulations to protect it. So if the men and women behind Taggart need to work in the shadows, Pulling strings to enable us to head in a safe direction. Will supporting them be all that bad? If they're as wise as Taggart says, how bad will their leadership be? I just hope they stand by what they say. And that's the game, guys. Surprisingly, it took me a lot less time to finish this game, <laughs> this final battle, than I thought it would take. Uh, I died once, um, which I might cut that out, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, I didn't realize that I just had to shoot her, and then that was it. Didn't really realize that. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's a decent game. It's not my favorite game I've ever played, but it's, it's certainly... Has an interesting story, has an interesting uh, feel to it, an interesting gameplay style. Never, uh, never played the first original Deus Ex, which is a PC game way back when. Uh, but yeah, it's I, I maybe I'll go back and play it. I don't know. It might be hard for me to play that because I'm just so bleh at games usually. But I, I'd give this maybe like an eight out of ten. No, well, not really an eight out of ten. I don't know. It was a decent game. Would I play it again? Maybe. If I had the choice between this and another game, probably choose the other game, of course, depending on what that other game was. But, yeah, I, I'd, I'd give it another chance. Not the greatest game, not the worst game. Kind of an average game at best for me. For me, personally. Alright, let's make that clear. Not, I don't think I'm all-powerful, all-saying, I'm the greatest, everyone else sucks when it comes to my decisions, but, you know. So now that we've wrapped this game up, we can uh, talk about the next game that I'm playing. I am, uh, I'm, oh, is this Eidos Montreal? Oh, it is. I am going to be recording my next game probably tomorrow, or starting at least, uh, and then I'll get that uploaded whenever I finish those videos. Uh, I, this is going up, I think, mid, 
early September. This That's when these videos... <laughs> I see tits in the background there. Uh, yeah, these videos are going up early September. I don't know. Somewhere in there. Oh, okay. And then my next game will probably start on the, that Friday after, you know, whatever. So, yeah. Do I want to tell you guys what I'm... Not really. I don't really want to tell you what I'm playing next. I want it to be a little bit of a surprise. It, It is a game that I will be using the uh, Xbox controller very heavily for. Um, kind of the entire reason I bought the Xbox controller. Just just for that reason. For uh, or games like this. Not for the specific game, because that'd be stupid dropping 20 bucks for an accessory that I would only use for one game. But it is a game that uh, I bought way long ago for the uh, for the PS2. Good game, good game. like it a lot. I'm really happy that I found it on Steam, and I found another game along with it that I am thinking about playing. It's a sequel to a game that received kind of bleh reviews, but the, the, the sequel is good. So I'll start recording that probably tomorrow. I don't know when I'm going to edit these together. Yeah. Uh, that's really all I have to say. I mean, these credits are going... Going, they're they're going somewhere. Uh, yeah. Woo. I, I don't want to skip the credits either. That's that's something I don't like doing. I I I like showing everyone who's involved in the game. And it's you know. I feel like it's something that people should see. And kind of get the they should get the acknowledgement. But oh well. I'm uh, I'm ready to stop playing this game. I'm really happy I finished it tonight. Again, I'm really surprised. It sucks that I stopped recording pretty much on the final boss. I knew it was I knew it was the final boss. Don't get me wrong, but it sucks that that fight was so short. It's like, oh wow, that's something. I knew it was the final boss. I didn't realize it was only that easy to fight to beat it, especially with that crazy big ass laser rifle thing that was awesome but yeah I uh yeah that it I think let's let's talk about something completely different well I mean let's talk about the ending but for a different reason the uh the whole choice of you get to choose how your game ends I think that's why a lot of people got annoyed at Mass Effect 3 I know fucking that was, a, that was a game from last year, and now I'm talking about it pretty much almost a year later. Which I haven't played, by the way. I've never played... I got through, like... I usually can get through the first mission of the Ma the first Mass Effect game, and then I'm like, Ugh, I can't play this game. I, I get... I acknowledge that's a good game. It's just not a game I, like... I, I enjoy playing, you know? Uh, but... I think that's why a lot of... One of the reasons why people really didn't like the Mass Effect... Ma <laughs> Mass Effect 3 ending, because... Mass Effect 3, uh, Mass Effect in general, your choices throughout the game gives you an ending. It's not like you, in Mass Effect 2, I know that uh, you, at the end, if you have certain people do certain things, if you have their loyalty missions and whatnot, if you do or do not have their loyalty mission, I guess, uh, there's a possibility of them dying in the end. And, you know, that's not really scripted, but once you get there, your actions dictate the outcome. And then in Mass Effect 3, it's like, you, again, your actions, you have these all these actions you can do, you know, I want this to happen, I want this, you know, or not really like that, but you do this, 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 and this. And then at the end of the game, instead of having some, you know, instead of seeing how it unfolds and seeing who lives and who dies and who makes it and who doesn't make it, you're suddenly thrown into something like Deus Ex here, where it's, okay, choose option A, B, or C. Yeah, that's that's exciting. That's exactly what I want. Totally what I want. I want to be able to choose how my game ends. Yeah. And I, I think a lot of people didn't like that. I uh, I know I thought that was kind of a letdown for an ending, but you know what? That's that's just me. Uh, it doesn't necessarily. <laughs> it's eleven fifteen at night. Give me some. Give me a break when I can't talk. I. I think it's a decent game. I, I think Mass Effect 3 is a decent game. I think Deus Ex is a decent game. 
you know, yeah. I thought, I thought Dead Space 3 was a decent game also, which a lot of people, surprisingly, a lot of people didn't like. I seem to be, like, in the minority in the Dead Space franchise about what games I do, do, do and don't like. For example, I love the first game. Hey, there's uh, music stuff. I do music stuff. Uh, I... <laughs> on the one hand, I, I like the first Dead Space game. Don't get me wrong. I love it. And a lot of people really love Dead Space. A lot of people say the first one is their favorite. I'm actually the opposite of what a lot of people think, at, le at least at the time. I prefer Dead Space 2 over Dead Space 1. And I'll tell you why. Because Dead Space 2 fleshes out the universe a hell of a lot more. And I know, obviously, that happens in any sequel. <clears throat> any sequel will add on more stuff to the game, to the universe, and yeah, the storyline. But it adds, Dead Space 2 adds on so much more. It has more about the, uh, it definitely goes into an interesting topic of the Unitologists and that their whole religion, which is something that I was really interested in. Uh, obviously not like, oh man, the marker is real, guys. But I definitely, I read a Dead Space Martyr just because I was like, huh, this is about how Unitology was created. Let's, let's see. Let's see what it's about. And I, I, I really liked that in Dead Space 2 that there's such a focus on how the church now can influence the government, too, in the game. It's really cool. Also, the weapons are fucking awesome in that game. I love it. The fact that they introduced the, uh, the, uh, impalement engine. <laughs> Not really engine, I guess. But just that they introduced that aspect of the game. I love the javelin gun, and I love taking spikes and just stabbing someone into the wall. It's so fun. It's so great. That's another way... <coughs> oh, wow. I'm talking so much. My my throat is dry. I just... I love that. It's great. You know, it adds a whole other extra aspect to the gameplay and another way to save on ammo and another tactic you can use. Plus, they introduced the hardcore mode. I think? Is that what? Yeah, it's, that's what it's called. Where you only have three saves, which fuck that, I'm not doing that. I, I will never do that. If I, whenever, whenever I play Dead Space 2, which I'm going to, don't worry. Probably just gonna be like another year or so, because I usually do games in a certain way. But uh, yeah, I, I'll play it at some point. Don't, don't get your panties in a bunch if you want to see me play Dead Space 2. What is this? You worry too much, Morgan. There's nothing we can't manage, given time. She's here. I have to cut this short. Keep going through the wreckage. Maybe we'll find something we can use for the Morpheus Initiative. Come in! Dr. Reed! We're so pleased you decided to join us. Where else could I go? No regrets, my dear. As Ariadne told Theseus before he entered the Minotaur's Labyrinth, always forward, never left or right. You'll be very interested in our current project. We're breaking new ground. Yes, the nanite virus chimera is quite intriguing. I'm looking forward to seeing the hybrid project up close, Mr. Page. And so you shall. But please, call me Bob. Oh, setting up for a uh, third installment in the Deus Ex franchise universe, I guess, whatever you could say. Uh, yeah. Cool little fun... Oh, man, there's Twist. The sky. Is that it? Okay, we're... Nothing? We're just sitting on this random title card for no reason. Whatever. I'll keep on talking. What exactly is this? Okay. Is it? All right, whatever. I'm just gonna hit escape and fuck that. Well, there you go, guys. We're done with Deus Ex. I'm finally, finally done with this game. I'm happy that I'm done. I'll start recording again tomorrow. And uh, until then, I, I would, I would like to say thank you for sticking with me if you've actually watched this. 
entire thing. I don't, I don't know. What happens if I hit continue, actually? I wonder... Let's see. Let, let's just for the, you know, shits and giggles. Oh, alright, it just does this. Well, that's weak. Let's see what I picked up off, uh... I can pick up all those dead bodies. And fuck, alright, well, there's no one... There's nothing in here. Is there anything in... Oh, wow! Hello! Oh, man, look at this! There's all this shit in here that I could have taken. Aww. Well, damn it. If I had known that, I would have absolutely ran in there and taken all that stuff. And there's more stuff in here. Plasma capsule, sniper ammo. Look, an EMP grenade that I could have taken and I wanted to use. Aww. Weak. What would this guy have? Whoops. Exit. Well, shit, I have, oh my god, look at all that ammo I now have for this thing. Too bad I can't fucking use it. Well, actually, I could. Let's, uh, let's just kind of, for the sake of it, just waste all this ammo. Look at that. Oh, man. Golly gee. Alright, well, that'll, uh, that'll be it for Deus Ex Human Revolution. Thank you for watching. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I guess we can't play this game without doing that. Toss a gas grenade and 